to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's Treasure Trove episode, we're going to be unboxing five monster blind boxes from Pop Mart. On the left here, we have Yuki Color Transparent Series. Beside it, we have Yuki Evolution. This one is really cool and the newest Yuki series. And then in the middle, we have Fluff Flying Erosion Monster, and this is from Instinct Toy. Beside it, we have Erosion Molly Costume, and this is a collab between Molly and Instinct Toy. And then on the end here, we have Pucky Monster Babies, and this is from Pucky. So these are all of our monster blind boxes that will be in today's video. And I have opened up a Pucky Monster Baby before, I believe in a Lucky Bag. I think I have two of them. And I have opened up a Yuki character before, but I've never opened up either of these series. So both of these series are new to me. And I've never opened up an Instinct Toy collab with Pop Mart. So this will be my first time for these Instinct Toy ones. So I'm really excited about that. And for all of these, except for the Pucky one, it is going to be my first impression. And including this one, I don't have any more of these blind boxes at my house. So at the end, like I like to do with my other Treasure Trove episodes, I will let you know if I would purchase a second blind box from any of these series and if I would be interested in maybe getting more than a second box. So let's get into unboxing these. I think I'm going to start off with the end here. So this is our Yuki Transparent series. Let's have a look at the box. And just in case you weren't familiar, these are kaiju, which kind of roughly translates to monster in English, but I believe the direct translation is strange beast. So a kaiju is a strange beast, like a Godzilla. And the artist who did this is Lang. And let's go ahead and have a look at the box. So we can see the nine designs and the hidden edition on the side here. We can't see the hidden edition, just the nine designs. And it's a pretty standard box. These are a lot smaller than a regular Pop Mart box, if you didn't already notice. These are quite small figures, but they are the same price as a normal Pop Mart figure is. They're not any cheaper or anything like that. And if we have a look at the designs, we have Sakura, Burning Sun, Marshmallow, Blue Ice, Lemon Smoothie, Brilliant, Pink Star, Rainbow Star, and then on the end we have Drunkard, which is a really funny name. I'm really hoping we get Marshmallow. I think it's so cool how it has fluff on the inside. I do really like Brilliance. It has stars on the inside. Same with Rainbow Star. I think that would be a fun one to get. Brilliant or Rainbow Star both look really cool. Sakura is pretty cute too. I think Drunkard though is really fun and it looks like it might have metallic balls on the inside where the other ones don't. All of these are clear but they all have different things on the inside compared to each other. So I think the Drunkard one's the only one that kind of has this metallic ball on the inside. So that would be a fun one to get. So let's go ahead and open it up and see who we get for our first kaiju figure from Lang and Pop Mart. All right. So who are we going to get? They're all the same shape. The shape never changes with these figures very much though. So it's impossible to tell until you open it up. Oh, we got Sakura. I think this is Sakura and Sakura has this beautiful kind of puff balls in the middle. I could tell it wasn't one that made any sound. You can tell when I'm shaking it. We don't have any sound from within. So I did know it probably wasn't one of the ball ones or one that makes like a rattling sound. And the puff balls on the center are yellow, white, and pink. And they're really well packed in there. They don't move at all when you shake it. This one is a beautiful color though. So the outside is this clear pink, and I think it kind of ombres with completely clear towards the face. This is really cute. Oh, what a great start. I absolutely love the spikes. It's really fun to put your hand across the back and just feel the spikes of Yuki. Oh, this is so cute. 
What do you guys think of the first monster we got in today's video? Oh, I really like the artwork we have here from Lang. It looks like a watercolor painting. And yeah, I was right. We got Sakura. So that is the cool card from Yuki. So I think for our second box, because I've already opened it up on the channel before, I'll do it next. We are going to do Pucky Monster Babies. And let's have a look at this super cute packaging. And here are the 12 figures and the two secrets you can get in this series. So we have the Night Lord, Little Devil, we have Mummy, Vampire, Cotton Candy Spook, Pumpkin Black Cat, then this is Kappa, I'm not quite sure for that one. Then we have an ochre. This is one of the ones I have. We have Wolfman Poco, which is another one that I have. And then we have Snow Monster. And then beside that, we have Forest Sorcerer and Loch Ness Monster. That one's really cute. And then the two secrets here at the bottom. Out of all of these, which is the one you would be most excited to get? Oh, and we can also see on the front another look at the pumpkin black cat one <laughs> that's the one i definitely want i want the pumpkin black cat so badly i really hope that's what's inside i also really like the little devil i would be excited to get that one these two are definitely the two i want most from this collection but they're all pretty cute, right? Puckies are always super adorable and cute. But those are definitely the two I want most from this series. So hopefully that's what I get. I think it would have been fun to open up a full series of these when they first came out. I think that would have been fun. <laughs> but since I've already gotten quite a few of them, I don't think I would do that now. Okay, so this looks maybe like a smaller figure. So I don't think I got one of the ones I wanted, but maybe. Let's see. Oh, I did get the one I wanted. Oh, I'm so excited. This makes me so excited. I could feel a, an accessory on the inside, and I was curious which one I got. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of accessories. So let's go ahead and get this plastic off. I don't think I want to remove the head for this one. It doesn't seem like it's going to pop off. So I'm just going to break that. And let's have a look at all of these accessories that we have. So we have a little pumpkin basket. And then we have three little tiny people. One is in pink, green, and purple. They kind of look like jelly beans. That's really, really cute. So these go inside of the little pumpkin basket. So we have the pumpkin black cat all set up and you can only put one of these little guys in the pumpkin at a time. So I went with the green one, but I do have the pink and the purple one off to the side. And we can see the black cat on the shoulder of Pucky. <laughs> it's kind of like a scarf wrapped around the pucky and it is just adorable i love this one it is so cute i can't wait to put this for my halloween display it's really really adorable oh i absolutely love it i think it looks so so cute and let's have a closer look up at that beautiful cat and I like the multicolored buttons on the front and the pumpkin hat details are really cute as well. This is a really, really nice figure. And I'll try and show you the two little kind of people that came inside. It's so hard to see them because they're just so, so small. And let's have a look at the card. So this is the card for our pumpkin black hat and it is really cute oh i'm really excited by how cute this is what a great start to the video i'm really excited to open up the other three things and hopefully we're just as lucky i think because we have two instinct toy ones we're gonna open one of them should we do erosion molly costume or should we do this kind of 
flash one that is a keychain. I believe this one even lights up, which is pretty cool. I think let's do the plush since it's not as exciting as a figure. So this one is called Fluffy Flying Erosion Monster and it's from Pop Mart and Instinct Toy. And we can already see one of them on the front. We have Fantasia. And I love the metallicness of this box. It looks so cool and is super reflective. And on the side, we even have a picture of all the different ones we can get. So we have Candy Pink here at the top. We have Blush Pink, Sky Blue, Lilac Purple, Ocean Blue. This one looks really cool. And Smoky Gray, Sunshine Yellow, olive green and then down here are the two secrets so one's a secret and one's a super secret so these ones have wings and look incredible i really really hope we get one of these and i have seen a picture and these two light up i believe but i don't know if the regular ones do or if it's just the secret ones that light up wouldn't that be really cool to get one of these that lights up I think the one I want the most, of course, is going to be Fantasia because it's rainbow colored and I just love that. And I think the candy pink or the blush pink would be cute too, or the ocean blue. The other ones are cute, but I think those ones are the most interesting because they definitely have multicolors, those two, along with the Fantasia one. And what do you guys think of these series? I know Pop Mart's been making a lot of plushy keychain type stuff in the last year. Are you into it or you'd rather get a figure over a plush? I think it's a nice change of pace to get a plush. And I just liked these because I liked the idea of it just being a really simple ball, easy to attach to a bag. And I'm really excited about the idea that it might light up. And it looks like it's going to be huge. And let's go ahead and get into this bag and see who we got. <laughs> it's really big. So let's see. Oh, is this the Fantasia one? Oh, this definitely looks like it. It is so many colors. And we have the cute little face on the front. I don't know if you guys can see that super well. It is kind of hard to see. A lot of the teeth are covered by the fur, but you, we can see some of them here. And then we have the eyes. Oh, that's really nice. I like how the clip for these is made out of metal. It seems really good quality. And it's not quite a keychain. It's more of a pendant that you could clip onto something. It doesn't come with a keychain ring. Oh, I really like this. I think this seems really good quality and it is super soft. I'm really loving how soft this is, <laughs> and it's really cute. What an adorable little monster. And let's have a look at the card. So we did get Fantasia, and the card is just as metallic as the box. And I really like this side. It looks super cute. So that is our blush that we got, and I think it looks great next to all of the other figures that we got today. We are having the best of luck today. I think we're going to open up the Yuki box next for Evolution, and I really hope I get lucky with this one. There is a particular one that I want. I'd be so excited if we got it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the box. So the box is super pretty and tie-dye. Don't you just love it? It looks so nice. And sadly for this one, I know sometimes this happens with the Yuki ones. There's no picture on the side. It just has the names. So I'm going to read off the names and I'll put a picture up so you can have a look and see all of the options. So we have Perihelion, Magic Night, Golden Sand, Silver Sand, Morning Mist, Polar Day, Polar Night, Galaxy Center, Oasis, Island, Coral, Equator. And there is two secrets and it does tell you the names for them. So the first one is Colorful Streamer and the second one is called Night Owls. <laughs> I love that name. So these ones are actually probably the most interesting Yuki series I've ever seen. Usually the Yuki ones, it doesn't change shape. 
But as you can see for these ones, we do have like these kind of little creatures kind of coming out of it, which makes sense with the name like Evolution. And I think they all look super cute. I am really, really into them and I think they look fantastic. And I really hope I get one of the interesting ones. The metallic ones are really cute. Some of them are not my color story, but the super like reflective holographic ones, those ones in metallic look really cool the ones that are kind of hollow, but I'm really hoping we get one of the ones that looks like evolution with all the little creatures on the inside. Those ones are really cool and such a change of pace from the usual Yuki. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see who we get. I do like this whole series though, except for I think it's like the bronze metallic one or the super silver one. Those ones are pretty boring to me. So I hope we just get one of the colorful, interesting ones that would be fun. And like usual, you can't really tell who you got because they're all the same shape almost. Let's go ahead and open this up though and see who I got. Oh, we got one of the ones I wanted. Oh, I'm having so much luck. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe the luck I'm having. This is definitely not the exact colorway I wanted for one of the cute little creature ones, but I will take it. <laughs> so we have orange, yellow to a green, and then we have cute little pastel creatures kind of coming out of the Yuki. Oh, I absolutely love it. It is so cool. And even though this isn't my perfect color story for this one, I was hoping for one of the ones where it was like purple or blue or pink. I really like this and we do have all of those colors kind of at the front for the little creatures so it has a similar effect. <laughs> and what are your guys' thoughts on this series? Are you really into it? And let's have a look at the card. So we got Equator, that's the name for our Yuki that we got. And I just, as I said, I love this color combination. It is just so cool. And I really like the card for this. So we got Equator. And did we leave the best for last? We will have to see. So the last one is going to be the Erosion Molly costume. And here is our monster size Erosion Molly box. So again, this is a Molly X Instinct toy collab. And it has the same metallic container that the other instinct toy one has, except for this one has kind of like ice cream drips on the side. You can see it really good on this side. They look really, really cool. I really love the holographic packaging for this one. It looks incredible. And you can see the 12 options you can get here on the side. And there is two secret editions that you can get. I think from what I believe, there is a ton of secret editions. I think there's even more than this. This is a really special series that came out, a really big collab, and there was a lot of secret editions. So there is a lot of options that you can get. The one on the front looks incredible, and we can see the options here that we have. It's really hard to read with this kind of font. So we have Boo Ma Molly, Mucky Molly, Ice Liquid Molly, Snowy Molly, Curlo Molly, Monster Fluff Molly, Ink Molly, Millie Molly, Halloween Ink Molly, Gowana Molly, hopefully I'm saying that one properly, Vincent Molly, and Ice Vincent Molly. So those are the names of the instinct toy characters that Molly is kind of inside of wearing, which is a really cool concept. I definitely think a dinosaur one, which seems to be called Vincent, would be really cool. The Halloween one would be fun just because of what type of season it is. I don't think that's really my style, but I think I would still like it for Halloween. And then there is a bunch of these that are kind of white iridescent, so they're kind of rainbowy and white and clear. There's a few of them you can see here. Those are the ones that I really want. I'm not too interested in this top row, and I really like the cat. So I think this one is probably my favorite. The purple one actually looks pretty neat too. And then the two Vincent ones down here. And the one on the front looks incredible. But I'm really just looking for this specific colorway 
because when it comes to instinct toy, I really like this one. I think the one that has this cool colorway usually looks really cute. And I'm pretty indifferent to the snowman one or the bear one. <laughs> but this is absolutely huge. Let's open it up and see which one we got. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to see, even though I think there's a chance I might be pretty disappointed. And oh my gosh, this one is huge. Wow, give me a second to reset up the box, but this one is incredibly big. <laughs> All right, so let's see which one I got. I'm really excited to see. All right, let's pull it out. Oh no, we got one of the ones that I wasn't too interested in. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh wow, oh, we got a pumpkin one. Oh, I didn't even think we got the pumpkin one. Oh, it's cool. The pumpkin head's incredible. Okay, give me a second. Let me just open up this pumpkin head and let's have a look at it a bit because I don't think you guys can see how cool it looks compared to what I'm seeing. It's really, really metallic and cool. Oh, wow, look at this pumpkin head. Oh, it's metallic orange with details of red. It kind of has a really splotchy looking ombre it kind of looks like lava is dripping on it and i really love this scary face i know not everyone would be too into this just because of how scary it is but this is incredible in my opinion i just love it so much the metallic orange and red details and it is way more metallic looking in person than it is on camera i don't think the camera is truly capturing how cool this looks and I really love all of the spikes on it. But enough about the hat, let's have a look at the actual Molly. So we have a gold glitter, it looks like resin when it has glitter in it. And it's just like this melting kind of thing. And it has this cool kind of vampire cape happening. Wow. <laughs> And then Molly has a magenta colored head, or hair, I mean, not head. And there is plastic, so let me just take the plastic off. And I really love Molly's makeup and kind of scary gold eyes that are just a big gold circle. But look at that makeup detail, and look at the front of the cape with the kind of pumpkin skull there as well. This one is actually super 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 cool i'm in love with it i think it's just so neat it is so halloweeny that's what makes me really like it i think if i hadn't gotten this for halloween it wouldn't have fit in with my other figures i think i love the fact that this is so halloween it can fit in with my halloween decor instead of maybe my toy collection <laughs> so let's try it with the hat on and that looks in Incredible. Wow, Molly looks fantastic. I've never seen Molly look better. And this is a huge figure. You'll see when I put it down beside Pucky, it's almost going to be twice the size of Pucky. These are actually pretty expensive. And I think that justifies the extra price for them because this one is so much bigger. Wow, these Instinct Toy ones and Molly collabs are really neat. And let's have a look at the card. So on the card, it says Erosion Molly Costume, and then it says Halloween Ink Molly. So this is the Halloween Ink Molly, and it does come with this bonus little small card, which has instructions in Chinese and English about how to stand the figure. So I had really crazy luck today, like look at everything that I got in today's video. I pretty much said that I wanted to get it or I thought we might get it in today's video. Such a perfect combination of ones that I wanted as well as ones that are super Halloween themed for today's video. And I love that we got the Halloween themed Erosion Molly. I think that is so perfect and I actually really love it. I think it's going to look so good next to all of my Halloween decor that I have around my house. Let's get into which ones I would purchase more of. So definitely for the monster baby ones, I think they're really cute and I love Pucky. If this wasn't an older series, I definitely think I would 
buy more of these but I did end up getting my favorite today so I think if I get any of these in like a pucky lucky bag I do tend to buy a lot of pucky lucky bags I wouldn't be sad at all there definitely is other ones in the collection that I would be excited to get. I did purchase this one specifically for this video. I could only find this at Mind's Eye, so if you are interested in this, you might have to buy it off of Mind's Eye instead of Pop Mart directly if you were interested. But I definitely think it's a really cute series. I think this is one I might have bought in a full case of, but since I didn't, I'm okay not having the rest of the collection. So that's my thoughts on the Pucky Monster Baby series, and let's go to the Erosion Molly series next with Instinct Toy. This collab is really cool. I've been looking at Instinct Toys for quite a while. I do like some of their blind boxes. I think because they're just that little bit more expensive and I'm not 100% into all of the characters. I always really hesitate buying one because there's ones that I really want and then there's ones that I'm really indifferent to. So it makes it harder, especially when you have to pay more for them over a series like Pucky where I know pretty much I'm gonna love no matter who I got cause it's gonna be cute. And I always say I'm not a fan of Molly on my channel even though I seem to open up quite a bit of Molly. This series though is a crazy cool collab. I think it was really well done. Do I wish it was with a different character that wasn't Molly? Yes, but Molly is kind of Pop Mart's main character. <laughs> Molly is the protagonist in Pop Mart's story, that's for sure. So Molly does get a ton of collabs because I got this one and not one of the super cool rainbowy ones, I think I probably would buy another box or two to see if I could get one of them. And I really like how big the figures are. Like they look like the size of my troll dolls that you see kind of on the edge here, which I think is actually really neat for Molly. So I think, yes, I would definitely buy maybe a box or two more of this series just for fun but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it over another series. So the next one is going to be our cute little fluff instinct toy. And in terms of these ones, I think they're all really cute. They're all just the round ball monster and the ones with the wings that possibly light up are really cool in my books. I think I could see myself maybe buying one more just to see which one I got. And if it was one that I wasn't too interested in, I mean, I think these are super cute gifts to give to friends or family to put on their keys and stuff like that. So for that one, I definitely could see myself buying another one in the future. And these ones were a pretty reasonable price. And oh, if I got one with the wings, I would be so excited. So yeah, I definitely think I would buy another one of those. And next we have the Yuki ones here on the end. So my big thing about Yuki is the fact that the figure is always kind of the same. It definitely doesn't make me want to ever collect a full case of them. And Yuki is quite a simple figure. There's not a lot going on for Yuki. I do love the spine. I do love the kaiju vibes. But I do like a lot more going on with my figures. This Evolution series though definitely has that vibe. They are pretty similar though, the ones that have these cute little things coming out during the side. They're basically different colorways of the same design. I definitely think I would buy a few more boxes of the Evolution series because I love it and I do like some of the metallic ones so I could see myself getting a few. And I think they would look pretty cute beside each other and not too repetitive if I had like maybe three or four of them. As for the transparent one, I do love the Sakura one that we got, but it wasn't one of the ones that I was like ultra excited for. So I definitely could see myself again, maybe buying one or two boxes to see if I could get one of the ones I was really excited for. And it would be neat because some of them rattle and I do like being able to shake them and hear a sound. So yeah, that was this episode of Treasure Trove. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What was your favorite thing that I got in today's video? I definitely think for me, my favorite is probably Sakura, our little Halloween baby pumpkin pucky. And I really, really love my instinct toy, fluffy keychain. All of those, I guess, would be tied for first place. And then second place would be my Evolution Yuki and my pumpkin halloween ink molly 
but definitely I didn't get any that I wasn't excited about and I'm really excited for next week's video. We're going to be doing another treasure trove episode next week and it is all Halloween themed blind boxes. So if you're into the Halloween moon and you want to check out what Halloween blind boxes I have to unbox, be sure to come back and watch that. And I'm going to be doing a Halloween special on October 31st on my channel where I unbox a bunch of Shin Wu Ghost Blind Box from three different series of Shin Wu X Bun or Finding Unicorn is the brand. And I'm really excited to delve into those three different series all in one video. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and I hope to see you back here next week for Tuesday's video. And I hope you have a good rest of your week.